everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the perfect palette tag. I've been seeing a lot of people do this recently so I thought that I would do it myself. So yeah, if you want to see the rest of the tag then just keep watching. Okay, so the first category is best packaging and I would have to say it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette because it's so small and compact and sturdy as well. Like, I've dropped this numerous times and the shadows have not cracked. So I would definitely say this is best packaging. Question number two is best color payoff. And I cheated a little bit here and included two palettes. First one being Smashbox palette. The Photo Opt eyeshadow palette in the shade Fade In. And I believe this is a part of their Fade Into Black collection. But honestly, the pigmentation of these is absolutely amazing. And then my little cheat is a second one. And I don't know if this counts, but it's my Inglot palette that I built myself. Like honestly, the shades in this are so... So pigmented just five at random if you can see I don't think you can see the one on my thumb but seriously so pigmented they honestly feel like butter and they're so pleasant to work with and I would highly recommend these you can't buy this as is I did build this myself but if you can get a hold of Inglot palettes then I would highly recommend it. So number three is the most versatile and I would have to say that would be the Lorac Pro or Lorac Pro. It consists of I believe eight shades matte and eight shimmery shades so matte shimmer and it's just divided into two and I feel like I could get a really natural look or I could get a really dramatic look with this and I absolutely love it. Biggest regret and I would have to say it's the Urban Decay palette I believe it's called the Mariposa palette or something like that um but yeah it looks like this and yeah I just don't reach for it like the tin is just so hard to open it's just inconvenient and yeah some of the more neutral shades I have in other palettes so it's kind of inconvenient so I would definitely say I regret this one okay so I had to have a long hard think in regards to what palette had the best color names and I've decided to choose the Lorac Unzipped palette. The reason is because the palette's called Unzipped and then every name of each shade in the palette starts with Un. So for example, Unattainable, Unconditional, Unspoken, Uncensored, Unreal, Uncovered, Undiscovered. Yeah, they all just start with Un and I just thought that was really, really cute and creative for my palette. So Lorac Unzipped is definitely the best color names in my opinion. Number seven is least used palette and unfortunately it is the Urban Decay Smoked palette. It looks like this and when you unzip it, it comes with 10 shadows but I don't know, I just feel like it's such a hassle to unzip the packaging all the time. So yeah, like you can see I've used it a little bit but I haven't used it as much as I should. So yeah, I'd say this is definitely my least used besides the one that I regret buying. Most used palette would definitely have to go to Steal It In The No palette. It's the blue one in their series of In The palettes. But yeah, it's basically just a palette of 10 matte shadows. And the reason why I reach for this is because it is a palette of 10 matte shadows. I can use the whole palette to create my look. I can use it in conjunction with another palette. It's just amazing and I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Number nine is Most Love, and it would have to go to my newest palette, and that is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. It looks like this, and it just consists of 12 pinker toned eyeshadows. I only recently just got this, and I'm literally in love. I've only done like two looks using it, and I'm absolutely head over heels for this palette. Like, I don't know, I just adore it. And the last question is Desert Island palette, or the palette that I would take if I was trapped on a desert island. And I know this is also cheating, but it counts as a palette, I think at least. And it is my Z palette. Like, honestly, I have my contour shades, I have some eyeshadows, I have some blush, I have my eyebrow shades, I have my foundation powder, I have some more eyeshadows. Yeah, definitely my Desert Island palette because I can customise it for myself. Okay guys, so that's the end of the tag. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a lot. And without rambling on for too much longer, I will see you next time. Bye.